Hello everyone, my name is Sunil Yoshi and today I'll be talking about OCIM policies in context of identity domains. Before watching this video, please watch Introduction to Identity Domain, where you will learn what an identity domain is, how to create domains, and some of the use cases for creating multiple domains. In OCIM, users and groups resides in the identity domain. So you may have multiple secondary domains and each domain will have users and groups within it. Let's take an example. Here I'm logged in as a domain administrator of secondary domain. Therefore, I can do any operations within the domain. I can create users, groups, applications, and to others configurations in the domain. And let me try to create a network. I got a permission error. Access in OCI is denied by default. Domain administrator can only manage resources within the domain and not outside of the domain. To manage resources outside of the domain, they need additional permission. There is one exception. The default domain administrator are the super admin and they can manage all resources in OCI, including domains. We recommend not to use default domain administrator for day-to-day -day activities. Rather create additional administrator with permission to manage specific resources within OCI. Therefore, we'll create a network admin group and write a policy for that group to manage network. So here we have created a network admin group and added a user to that network admin. Let's create a policy for network admin. With that, we'll also understand how to write policies using IoT domain context. Now we see that authorization failed. This error is because domain admin does not have permission to write policies. Everything in OCI is denied by default. It is best practice to have very specific admin who can author policies. So I need to log in with an admin who has permission to write policies. So I'll cancel this and log in with a admin who has permission to author policies. Now I am logged in as an admin who has permission to author policies. You can easily write policies with policy builder with few clicks. Here for explaining the IMT domain context, let me use the manual editor. Typically you will write this policy to manage network. If you remember, we created the network admin group in the secondary domain. So we need to prefix the group with domain name for policy to know which network admin group we are talking here. There may be group with the same name in more than one domain. Let's change the policy. Now with this, the policy knows that we are talking about the secondary domain network admin group and not any other network admin group belonging to some other domain. So what happens if we don't add the net secondary domain prefix and keep the policy like this? In this case, the policy engine will assume it is a default domain. From the readability perspective and avoiding ambiguity, always prefix domain to the group name, even if you are writing policies for groups in the default domain. For instance, if you have to write this for the default domain, you can prefix the default so that someone is reading this policy, they know that this is network admin group 
is for the default domain. So you can write the policy using the builder as well. So first you select the policy use case. So in this case, network management, then you choose the template, let network admin manage a cloud network. Now here we have enhanced the policy builder to include the IDT domain. So you can select the domain. And once you select the domain, you will see all the groups within the domain. So you can select the network admin and then you can select the scope. And here you see the policy syntax has been created for you. Let's log into the secondary domain and see if we, if we can create a VCM. So now I'm logged into the secondary domain and I'll go to the networking and try to create a networks. So now if you see, I don't see an error here and I should be able to create a VCM. So with network admin policy, which give permission to secondary domain network admin group, I'm able to create VCN. Thanks for watching.